Hi everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do a review on a palette, which honestly I haven't done a review in general in a very long time. So today's video is going to be a review on the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. Now I did receive this as a Secret Santa swap with Instagram people, so shout out to you. This was from uh, Jamie. She was my secret Santa and she gave me this and I'm so excited because I have been eyeing this for literally the longest time but this is like anywhere between um, 10 to 14 dollars and I really didn't feel like spending that on like a drugstore palette that might be like a hit or miss um, so I was very happy and if you couldn't tell um, purple is my favorite color so I was like really excited about this palette um, I did dye my hair purple I don't think you can really tell in the video but I do have pictures of my hair on my Instagram which I'll link down below I don't know why you wouldn't be following me already but you should be um, we're gonna talk about the shadows we're gonna talk about the um, some swatches so if you want to hear all my thoughts on this palette then just keep watching to start I think the packaging is literally so stinking cute. It is a great size. It is not bigger than my hand and my hands are rather small. Thank you very much. Um, so I love this soda pop theme. You can see that there's a little soda with straw poking out. It's so cute. I love that. Uh, let's open this baby up without hurting yourself. <laughs> This is what the inside looks like. This has been well loved. I've used this for about a month now, so I figure I have a good sense of this palette and the shadows and how they perform. Um, so let's get into it. So the top row, or the top portion right here, like I would divide this into um, sections here. I would call this section the top and then this section the bottom. It's just how I am. <laughs> um, this is a more neutral section up here. And then this has your fun, shimmery pops of color and purples. So, I love that you get a brow bone shade. That is, like, super essential for me so I don't have to, like, reach into another um, palette. It just takes time and this saves time because it's already in. I would have liked it to be a little bit more on the whiter side. It is more a cream color. But I'm going to go into the swatches now and also before I do that though the names are super cute I love that they stuck with the um I love that they stuck with the soda pop theme uh, within the names that's really cute so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch um, this top portion here and then I will show you what that looks like by the way you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve shadows so that is actually a really good value i love the variety of this um palette i think that's amazing that there's this many colors and like mattes and shimmers and metallics and all that it's just a really nice well-rounded palette so this is just your shade called chilling i don't really know what to use this for i haven't really used this um so I guess I'll do six on the top and then six on the bottom. That's what I'll do. But these are super pigmented and very, very creamy mattes. I love Maybelline mattes. I think it's really nice. There it is at the bottom there. So that shade is called Chilling. Then we're going to go into Tonic, which is this shimmery champagne color. Now, the shimmers are actually really, really pigmented. Um, if you want it to really pop... <laughs> soda pop um, you do have to build it but on their own I had to build that a couple times but that is pretty pigmented it's very opaque which I appreciate in the shiver so again that was t chilling and tonic and now I'm gonna go into ginger ale which is just that cream shade this is a really nice like brow bone highlight this one I'm gonna build for you so you get the effect so there it is right there and then we're gonna go into cola float which is your transition crease color it's nice rich brown oh I love this I have this in my crease today this only took two swatches and it's completely opaque very very nice brown 
I use that almost every day when I use this palette. And then I'm going to go into Sugar High, which is this shade right there. This one is a very light, like, penny color. But you can see they all work together. And then there's one more, which is called Crushing. This is your bright orange color. I like to mix this with Cola Float, that deep brown, because sometimes the orange is too bright and sometimes the brown is too dark so if you mix them together it's a good like medium color but very very opaque they're super easy to blend out you you don't have any problems with these and now I'm gonna swatch the bottom half of this palette starting with this one right here which is called soda fizz like your bronzy kind of color very metallic and very pigmented I used pretty much every shade in this palette except for Sugar High and Chilling, I would say. I haven't gotten around to doing a look with that just because like those colors don't really appeal to me in my looks. Um, so again, this was Soda Fizz right here. This shade is the one that I have all over my lid. This is called Grape Pop. And this is the best purple I have ever had in my collection. Like, it lasts all day. It's super opaque. It doesn't need to be built up. It's just good on its own. And it's just one of my favorites in this palette. I can see me using this a lot. Well, I mean, I do use it a lot. And I've only had it for like a month. For the sake of this video, I'm going to build it up a little bit. <sighs> these shadows are a little bit pink. Um, these shadows are a little bit powdery. But look at how opaque, oh that totally matches my nails. But um, yeah, so that's again Grape Pop and it's so pretty. I do have that all over my lid today. I pretty much have the bottom half in this palette. And then I have Cherry on top in the outer V which is this beautiful deep matte plum color. Again, that was one swatch very opaque color payoff is there and then I'm gonna just do another swatch of it so you get some more idea of it but look at that that's amazing I love those two shadows in this palette alone are like my favorite but um, then we have root beer which is this deep matte brown get a nice one to smoke out any look it's so pigmented it's ridiculous Ridiculous. That was one swatch. One swatch, people. So the lighter browns did need to be built up, but this bottom half does not need to be built up. It is amazing. Then I'm going to swatch Blue Raspberry, which is a really pretty, like, sparkly blue. I have that to set my liner today. It is so pretty. I love that liner color. But I also like using this on the outer V. This is one of those like Too Faced colors in that sense that I mean it's like actually when you swatch it it's not very sparkly. There it is right there. It's looking a lot more bright than it is um, when you have it next to other shadows it kind of looks a little bit darker but uh, in the light it looks really really bright and really pretty. There's not that much sparkle although there's a little. Now I see it. Okay. But upon first swatch, it does not look sparkly. And then we have the shade Cherry Cola, which this is the one that I used in my last tutorial, which will be up hopefully before this. Um, but this on its own, it's kind of like, eh, lackluster, um, not that impressive. But, I mean, for drugstore, it's still, like, kind of impressive. This is your red shade. Actually, that was one swatch, so I totally take that back about not being that impressive. But, uh, that was one swatch. I'm not even kidding. I still have some on my finger, so I'm just gonna build that up. So, here is the whole palette swatched on my hand. I absolutely am just blown away by this palette. I... I'm so appreciative to Jamie for um, gifting this to me and now I have this in my collection. I can't wait to do more looks with this. Um, I have a few on my 
Instagram, which again, if you're not following it, you totally should, uh, because I do, or weekly looks, I should say at this point. So yeah, again, I give this palette a 10 out of 10. I really think it's a good everyday palette because you've got your neutrals and then you've got your pops of color. And if you love purple and you didn't want to spend a lot on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette, this is your new best friend. I am not even kidding you. It is just as good, if not better, than Anastasia Beverly Hills. And that is saying a lot, you guys, for me because I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this is really good. So Maybelline, you knocked it out of the park on this palette. I really, really love it. Definitely make sure to go check out this um, palette at your local drugstore or you can order it on Ulta.com. I'm pretty sure I will have that linked below. And yeah, so this is my review on the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. I really hope you guys liked it. Give this video a thumbs up if you love reviews on palettes and I guess that's it for me, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone!